Let's set up the sales tax. We're going to go to the tab on the left. We're going to go to the taxes and we're in the sales tax. So I'm going to close this back out. It says up top, automatically calculate sales tax rate for each sale. One, create an invoice or receipt. Two, we calculate the sales tax rate based on date, location, type of product or service and customer. Those are the three items. And three, we keep your sales tax updated when laws change so you stay com uh, compliant, which is nice. The system's getting better and better at applying the sales taxes on state and local level, which is more complex than just a federal level. So that's that's nice. So we're going to use the automatic sales tax. Here's uh, the address we have on record. So they're using our address, which is going to be the primary address that they're going to try to calculate the sales tax in. So they're going to say, hey, what are the, this is my, my interpretation. What are the sales tax requirements for a business located at that address? that's going to be what they're going to assume is going to be applicable in general. So we're going to say, all right, let's keep that. So I'm in California here. In practice, we'll try to make the sales tax kind of generic. I'm, I'm going to try to override it to 5% when we make the sales, just to keep it like a generic sales tax. But it's going to be based on the location here. Okay, tell us more about your taxes. We calculate sales tax based on what you sell and where you sell it. So if you sell in multiple locations, we calculate the correct sales tax for each one. So do you need to calculate sales tax outside of California? I'm going to say no, which will of course be more simplified. If you do have sales tax in multiple locations, then you'd hit yes. And you got to make sure that you're filling out the information necessary for, for the sales tax for multiple location. So it looks like you need to pay tax uh, to just one government office in California. We call this your tax agency your tax agency, California Department of Tax and Fees Administration. I'm gonna copy that in case they wanna force me to make the, the vendor for that. But yeah, that's who we pay then in California. Looks good. Nice long title for the California office there. Automatic sales tax is set up. Give it a spin by creating your first invoice. So I'm not gonna create the invoice here because I think that kind of confuses things. I'm gonna close this out first. And that then gives us our sales tax information to further uh, populate. So how often do you file sales tax? So you can find this info on your sales tax business registration. So if we're subject to sales tax, then we got to make sure that we're, we're set up our sales tax with the, the appropriate office of the sales tax. And then we need to determine how frequently we need to pay the sales tax. Now, remember what happens, we make sales. We're going to collect the sales tax, which hopefully should be set up to do that at this point in time. And then the money that we've collected from the customers, because we're just the collection agency now, they've made us into their, their, their collection agency. We're going to have to then pay that to the government at some point in the future. How is that going to work? Am I going to be collecting the money on the sales for the month of January, for example, and then have to pay the January collections I made in February? Or maybe I can collect for three months, the whole quarter, January, February, March, and then I pay at the first month of the following quarter and so on. Or maybe they let me collect all year and I only have to pay one time. What's going to be the deal? So if you can't find it or change or, or it changed, uh, check out the table to see. So if you, so normally you would want to go to your personal information, but they have the default information down below. You got the T California department of tax and fees. This is, of course, subject to California. It will differ based on your location, but you have a similar kind of concept. So filing frequency. So do we file monthly, quarterly or yearly? Again, this will be dependent on location and typically the amount of sales you make. Generally, if you don't make a lot of sales, the government's more likely to say, hey, we're just going to make you file yearly because whatever, you don't make a lot of money anyways. So that's fine. But if you start making more money, then they want it quarterly because they want to check up on you to make sure that you're doing things right. If you make a lot of money, they want it monthly because they want their money because now you're making money and they want their money and the, you know how it works. So there it is. So I'm going to say monthly for the purposes of the practice problem so that we can see a payment happen. Then we've got the California filing frequency. So this is just for California. But again, you would think there would be similar similar filing requirements depending on your location. So here's the source information. If you wanted to check it out, I'm going to save it there. And so that should complete the setup process. So now when I'm in the sales tab, so if I hit the plus button, I'm in the sales tab again. 
We've got our information uh, auto save for sales tax. The California is our location. We just have the one and then the California Department of Tax. We've got the nice little tag down here. You've got your sales tax settings. If you need to make any adjustments to the sales tax setting, here's going to be the agency. If we needed to add an agency, we can hit the plus button and go through the process of adding another agency as up top. You can also have your custom rates down below. Now for the purposes of the practice problem, I would like to have basically a custom rate of like 5% just to make it generic. So I'm going to try to add a custom rate. And so add a custom sales tax rate. And I'm going to just going to say, say, uh, sale or, or test rate. I'm going to say the agency, I'll keep it the California department here. And I'm going to say the rate is 5%. So I'm going to have a generic rate that I'm going to be applying and I'm going to say save. So now we've got our generic rate on down below that we have added. I'm going to go back to our sales center up top. And then you also have your economic nexus over here. If you go into that, it says all states have rules about collecting sales tax from out of state businesses. So you've got kind of problems, of course, now when you have sales that are happening in different, you know, across state lines and whatnot. So if you do enough business in a state, you may owe them sales tax, even if you don't have a physical location there, will help you figure out if you meet the threshold to pay sales tax in different states. So then you can kind of dive in here and do some more research on what your sales tax obligations are when you get into more complex situations, making sales in multiple locations.